started here. Uh, I'm using a uh, 12 millimeter uh, rod of uh, borosilicate glass. Uh, I believe, uh, believe right now I'm using Pyrex brand uh, borosilicate. Um, I personally like it more than uh, shot or the um, Chinese import for silicate. Um, has, has less air bubbles than the uh, than the cheaper imported for silicate rod. That stuff is loaded with bubbles. Uh, use this as the base for the marble. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this clear rod of 12 mil. I'm going to heat up the end of it. I'm just going to very gently tap it down into some ash. Barely any ashes on there. Very little. I'm going to heat up another rod of clear glass. I'm going to go over those ashes. Clear. What that'll do that'll help protect those ashes from the flame and it'll seal them in there so those ashes won't be harmed and now I can put that into the bottom of this glass marble so I'm just going to melt this in Hard to see that. It's so bright. There's a little layer of ashes in there. There you go. You can see that. A little layer of ashes in there. Ready to get put. Right into this marble. So I'm going to put color. Um, we're actually going to use a little bit of this teal blue. Start top. Just gonna run four lines down this clear rod. And I'm gonna hit it, hit this whole thing with a little bit of silver. <clears throat> now there's a technique called fuming. I'm taking a little little dot of silver on the end of this. A quartz rod. I'm going to heat up in the flame until it turns into a gas, essentially. And it's going to catch on the hot glass out here. There you go. Oof. Do not want to breathe that in. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to take a little bit of clear glass here. And now I'm going to stripe with the clear over where I put that fume on. And that's going to trap that silver in between the two layers of glass. And then when I put a darker background on it, you'll be able to see glass. In between those layers I'm going to put a little bit of this color I like, a little a periwinkle. 
like a nice little like it's almost a lavender like a very light color very light sky bluish kind of color yeah. now I'm gonna have more lines of this than anything else because now I've divided this up a lot more with the uh, with the clear lines so in between everything put those little lines there so now that I have all of that all those colors on there. I'm going to melt this in. I'm going to melt that in a little bit and give it a little, little twist. A little twist. And then I'm going to pull the end to get all the color. So I'm just slowing it down a little bit with the small rod so that as I spin this, the color all twists and spiral. There you go. Now it looks spiraled. Let that cool for a second. I'm going to pull off the end of the color here. Make sure I get all the colors at the end to come together. Make sure they all terminate in the same spot. Because that will help the effect look nicer from the inside. There we go. Well, now that I've got that there. Now I'm going to heat this whole thing up in a little ball. And now I'm going to press it flat on my, on my graphite pad here. And all these lines I put on the outside, you're going to be viewing them from the inside of the glass. So, essentially taking what's on the top here and I'm flipping it around so it'll be on the bottom. <laughs> so I want to start condensing this down a little. Hold it a little sharper angle here. flattened it. I'm going to put a color on the back of it. There's a very lovely color here. It's called Blue Moon. It's a uh, silver uh, self-fuming color. So, saw how I sprayed the silver on the glass before. Um, this color is uh, cobalt with silver in it, so the silver can be pulled out onto the surface, giving them really cool metallic shimmer effects and different greens and blues. And a wide variety of different effects can be achieved with a single color of glass now. The, uh, using different flame chemistries, heating and cooling the glass down. I'm putting this color, a dot of this color on the back here.
And then I'm going to heat up just that color that I put on. And then I'm going to do the same thing like I did earlier where I just mash it flat on my marber here, my graphite pad. I want to get this like hot, hot, like, real hot. Have to move quickly with that uh, with that blue moon because it uh, requires a lot more heat than the clear glass does to melt. So all the uh, all the extra heavy metals in the glass make them more stiff. And some colors like black and the really dense blues. And the bright crayon colors are very stiff colors, so they need a lot of heat, but they have to be heated up slower than the other colors. And so, we're melting all that color in, letting gravity start to round this whole thing out. We've got a tool here, my marble mold. I'll be using this uh, first to get just the basic shape of the back. There. Now I'm gonna punch you up to this. A small, small rod in the back. Attach this handle. Now I'm gonna melt some of the glass up front here down onto the uh, color spiral and that's going to form a round lens that will help magnify everything in there and give it like a really cool look because if I were just to remove this right now it would look very very flat but as I gather this up so it'll help the whole thing be round. Right there. Right there. Right there. That should be enough. Sometimes it's hard to gauge exactly how much clear you want to put on top of your artwork. Because if you add too much or too little and you don't get it shaped out properly, you won't magnify your work the way you want to. So. Just something that goes with trial and error. Lots and lots of trial and error. Alright. Let's get this melted in here. Out of the marble mold, and then you know, hit it there, get that smoothed out. Marble there. So, got one last little 
step to do. Shake the back side. So I have to put a cold seal punty on here. Now I don't like them, but it makes it easier in the long run. Alright, keep the glass up. Pack it together out of the flame. Now that's that's not holding on as uh as long as I'd like. <laughs> but it's, it's enough. Alright, so now I pick off that little bit of glass there that I left. Size polish, just gotta pack this off. Yep, all right. My seal was too good. So now I have to do that again. And the seal was too hot. this punty off the front here. I'm going to be really careful. This is a very cold seal. So if I tap this by accident, it'll fall right off my handle. If I push too hard, it'll fall right off the handle. If I sneeze, it'll fall right off the handle. If I fart loud enough, it could probably fall off the handle. A glass there. Now I shape the front and the back. Uh, now I can get a look at it. It looks. Oh, I like that. I like that. Side files and then you get a good look in there and yeah. put that in the marble mold. Okay. That last little bit off there. Now we're gonna polish this. Flame, torch. I'm gonna hit this with a big soft propane flame because that color on the bottom if I at the end when I work it if I use a big soft bushy propane flame right before I'm done with it I can pull those silvers I was talking about to the surface and give it a really cool uh, shimmer effect which yep I got it cool There's the, uh, the back of it. I can see that spiral in there. Cool. Right. Now this goes into the kiln to sit and bake overnight. And it's all done. <sighs> Thanks for watching.